Welcome to another Learn Quick Bit video. I'm Linda. And I'm Tom. And we're from OMES. And this video will focus on the Supervisor Control Panel. So from your Welcome page in your Learn Center, we want you to click on the Supervisor Control Panel. This will take you to your team monitor. What's that, Tom? Your team is a list of all the people that you supervise, Linda. And so I see here it shows all their records. And just like on the other pages we've been to, you have the icons at the top that you can use for filtering. Um, and also, each individual record has information in it as well. Now, we're in card view. Can we change it to list view, too? We could. We could switch to list view. Let's see what that looks like. I think I like the card view better. Right. So in each record, there's individual information. And uh, the records show an assignment. It says number seven in that record you're on, Tom. What does that mean? That means that this user has seven assignments. All right. So you can basically go to each individual employee and you can look at how their training's going. Now, if I'm somewhere else in this in the team monitor page, how do I get back to that home page of the team monitor? Well, there's two ways you can do that. You can click the back button at the top or on the left side, you can click team monitor. Now let's look at two other icons before we move on. Over on the right hand side we have a little checkbox. When you click on that, an email icon appears. And you can actually send email messages to selected users. All right, what's the other one for? The other one, if you put your mouse over, it shows its management reports, which will be covered in another video. Okay. All right. So where are we going to go now? Let's look at the Views option. We've got a pull down here. Everything we've talked about so far has been under the Supervisor Widget view. Let's look at the Transcript view. And basically, this gives you access to your employee transcripts. So just like an employee can do, you can go to each individual and you can click on them and you can look at what's on their transcript. And the other cool thing is you can look at each item on the transcript or you can export it. You can export it just like they can with several different options as a PDF, a PDF with credits, a Microsoft Excel file, or you can download it to your local machine. Now to get, get out of this page and change views, you're going to have to use your back button or your team monitor button. I'll use the back button this time. Now what's another view we have? The final view is supervisor approvals. And basically it shows all the records and in here you can quickly see if there's anybody who's waiting on an approval. So from your icons at the top you see one pending and then if you look down on the records you can also see that one record is pending. So an enrollment does not mean that they're actually in the class until you complete the pending. So how do we do that Tom? Let's click on this one enrollment and take a look at that. And basically the enrollment will appear and it'll show the start and end date, the category. And over on the right hand side you have two choices. You can click approve or disapprove. And basically a message will appear and you can make comments or say anything. And they will get notified on whatever decision you make. Now from here, before we change screens, Tom, I just want to point out there's another link at the bottom of this page where it says click for more supervisor functions. There is. We're going to cover that in another video. All right. Now, how do we get back to our home page? Again, you can either hit the back button or team monitor. And that really completes the supervisor control panel. From here, you can approve, you can look at transcripts, and you can uh, follow and track your employees' training. To leave here, you can go home, you can sign out from that direction. Tom, do you have any other words for our viewers? Until next time, keep on learning.